Our lesson for tonight is Lesson 7.7, .7, Add Mixed Numbers. Our essential question is, how can you add mixed numbers with like denominators? Okay, our lesson for tonight is going to be on page 145 in your Go Math book. Now, this is what we've talked about in class today. So, I wanted to make sure that you guys were really confident with it. So, we are going to go over the lesson again, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page and we're all getting what we're supposed to be doing. So, number one says 6 and 4 fifths plus 3 and 3 fifths. So, if we add 6 and and four fifths plus three and three fifths, I can say four fifths plus three fifths is seven fifths, and six holes plus three holes is nine holes. Well, that's going to equal the same as nine and seven fifths. Well, that's going to equal the same as ten and two fifths. Now, here's why if I have nine and seven fifths. I see that I have an improper fraction right here. Well, let's change that to a sum of fractions. I know that 7 fifths, I can also say that that is 5 fifths, which is a whole, plus another 2 fifths. So I just made another whole. Now, what I can do is I can take this 5 fifths, which is a whole, and add it to my whole number. So now, instead of 9 holes, I have 10 holes, because I'm adding it to my whole number. And then I have 2 fifths left over. So my answer is 10 and 2 fifths. Okay, let's look at number 2. It says 4 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 half. Well, first let's add our fractions. 1 half plus 1 half, well that equals 2 halves. And now let's add our whole numbers. 4 plus 2, that equals 6. So now I have 6 and 2 halves. Well, I can see here that 2 halves, that's already a whole. So I can just add that to my 6. So now instead of 6 and 2 halves, I have 7 holes. Okay, let's look at number 3. I have 2 and 2 thirds plus 3 and 2 thirds. Let's add our fractions. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds, well that equals 4 thirds. And let's add our whole numbers. 2 plus 3 is 5. Four, 5 and 4 thirds. I can see that I have an improper fraction as my mixed number, so I need to rename it. So 4 thirds is the same as saying 3 thirds, that's a whole, plus 1 third. Now I can see that I have a whole here, so let me add it to my whole number. Well, that would give me six holes, and then I have one third left over. Six and one third. Okay, let's look at number four. Six and four fifths plus seven and four fifths. Let's add four fifths plus four fifths. That equals eight fifths. Now let's add our whole numbers. 6 plus 7, that's 13. Okay, let's rename this because I have an improper fraction as my mixed number. 8 fifths, well that's saying I have a 5 fifths in there plus 3 fifths. So now I have my whole number, let's add it to our whole number. So 5 fifths, that's a whole, so I would now have 14 holes and then I would have my three-fifths left over. Fourteen and three-fifths is my renamed final answer. Okay, number five says nine and three-sixths plus two and two-sixths. Well, three-sixths plus two-sixths is five-sixths, plus nine plus two, well, that is eleven. So I have five and eleven and five-sixths. Well, I know that 5 sixths is already a, just a regular fraction. It's not a mixed number. So I don't need to change this at all. So my final answer is just 11 and 5 sixths. So always check to make sure, is it an improper fraction? Do I need to change it? Yes or no. So in this case, we do not need to change it. 
Okay, let's look at number six. I want you to work on this one by yourself and then see once you get your answer, what you have to do to the answer when you get finished. So go ahead, pause the video, and then press play when you're ready to go over your answer. Okay, our answer should have been 11 and 10 twelfths. Now, if you notice that 10 twelfths is not an improper fraction, so we don't have to re rename it. But what we do need to do is simplify it because if you divide 10 twelfths, if you divide that by two, then you would get 11 and 10 divided by two is five and 12 divided by two is six. And remember, five and six are one away and when they're one, they're done. So 11 and five, six should have been your final answer. Okay, number seven, I want you to try that one on your own. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, you should have gotten five and eight eighths. And then I know that eight eighths is already a whole number. I don't have to add anything else to it. So I just take my eight eighths, my whole, and I add it to my whole number, which was five. So now instead of five holes, I have six holes. So that's what your answer should have been. Okay, let's look at number eight. It says nine and five tenths plus six and three tenths. Go ahead and work this one on your own and pay attention to the answer. And press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, so five tenths plus three tenths was eight tenths and nine holes plus six holes, well that's 15 holes. But if you noticed, eight tenths is not an improper fraction so I didn't have to rename it, but I do need to simplify it. So if I divided my eight tenths, if I divided that by two, then I would get eight divided by two is four, and 10 divided by two is five, and then I just bring my 15 holes over. So my final answer is 15 and four fifths. I know I can't reduce this or simplify it anymore because four is one away from five. And when it's one, it's done. So that's what you sh your answer should have been, 15 and four fifths. Okay, we're gonna skip down to number 13 for one of our problem solving questions. Number 13 says, James wants to send two gifts by mail. One package weighs two and three fourths pounds. The other package weighs one and three fourths pounds. What is the total weight of the package? So I can see by that word total that I'm going to add my two mixed numbers. So pause the video, go ahead and add your mixed numbers and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, here's our answer. We should have added and we would have gotten three and six fourths. Now I had to rename that fraction because it was improper. So six fourths in six fourths we have four fourths which is a whole plus two fourths. So I needed to take my four fourths and add it to my whole number, which was three. And when I add a whole to three, I would have four holes. And then I would be left with my two fourths. Now, if you said that four and two fourths is equal to four and one half, you were correct because we had to simplify four and two fourths because two-fourths is equal to one-half. So our final answer was four and one-half. Okay, for your homework questions tonight, all you have to do are numbers one and two on the back page on page 146. Now it says, don't do questions three through six. So you got lucky tonight if you watched the video. So only do numbers one and two. Also, don't forget to assess yourself. Let me know if you feel like you're a level one novice, level two apprentice, level three practitioner, or level four an expert. Good luck on your homework questions, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.